Welcome passengers, Mega Sim. I didn't even say cue the intro, did I? We are on this 508 and uh, I've given you the choice. We've got two ways to go home, the same way as we did before, via Chester Crew, or go via Liverpool. And a few of you have already said yes to Liverpool. So we are doing Liverpool. So staying on this 508 all the way to Liverpool Lime Street, 29 minute layover, Transpan on Express to Sheffield, Sheffield to Derby, cross country. That is what we're gonna do for today's video. And I'm gonna do it the whole way through from beginning to end. So it won't be for everything. It won't be every single clip possible. It's not gonna be really long, but I'm gonna do this whole trip, Ellesmere Port to Derby via Liverpool. Should we get going? Let's get on the train. Let's get on the train. There's no toilets. I need a wee. <laughs> Not gonna get to Liverpool till ten to six, but that's all right. It's all good. <laughs> There's the whistle. There's the doors. Actually been enjoying this little trip you know stop and start but third rail 508 so nice and i've not been uh, taking much video footage outside but you know just trying to get there but at the moment i'm watching and waiting to see if i can get a first class seat frog upgrade on transpennine for a fiver ish it's from five pounds so hopefully i'll win that uh, but yeah, Liverpool Lime Street, then half an hour wait, and then over to Sheffield, and then I've done the 10 minute seat reservation thing with Cross Country, uh, from Sheffield to Derby, and I've got a seat, so I'm happy with that. So Birkenhead Central is kind of when it goes underground. So I think it goes underground to go under the Liverpool Lime Street. So I've got to make sure that I bid before then, which it ends like four minutes after we get to Birkenhead Central, which is annoying, but what can you do? So I might have to just put a bid in and hope for the best. Hope for the best. You'll find out if I get on it or not. Let's wait and see though. Ooh, this is an interesting station. Look. We're kind of under cover this side, but then it goes into a tunnel and then back into Central, and then we go into the tunnel to go down to Liverpool Lime Street. So, yeah, need to make sure that I get that. That first class seat frog. Should I put £10? I don't know. I'll put eight and see what happens. Yeah, eight. Eight sounds good. So here's Birkenhead Central before we go under the river. So yeah, let's get seat frog up. Let's get it done. Done. So I put eight quid as my max. We're going under the tunnel now, so that's it. I have no 
no support, you know, no mobile signal when we go under. So when we get out, we will then find out if we got first class or not. Oh, should I check if I've got money in my bank? I should do, but just check. Yeah, I've got money. <laughs> just wanted to check. Is that time of the month? It's like, am I? Haven't I? Just trying to triple check. Right, so this is now where we start going under. Uh, we've got a station. I can't remember what it was. And then we go under the uh, river. And then, yeah, Liverpool Lime Street, I think it's the underground station. So I'll have to then walk up to the main bit. And that's when I'll find out if I've got it or not. This is where you catch trains to West Kirby. That's the new trains. I don't think we're going to see any of the new trains. But look at this. This is this is Mersey Rail. You know, the underground bit. It's lovely. It's the first time I've been down here. So, yeah, it's exciting stuff. And I got full signal down here. <laughs> I thought I would get no signal. Maybe when we go under the river, we won't. Unless they've put mobile data, you know, signal down in these tunnels. I don't know. Like they are go doing at the moment for London. James Street, another underground station. This is great. I, I, sorry, I know I keep saying it, but I've not done this before. So this is really cool to see. So after James Street is uh, Moorfields and then Liverpool Lime Street. So we've gone under the river. We're now at James Street, Liverpool Lime Street, uh, Moorfields, Liverpool Lime Street, then Liverpool Central. And then it starts working its way back towards Ellesmere Port again. Nice little, uh, nice little run. I think this is probably a better idea to do this rather than via Chester, because I get to go on more of the uh, track that I've not been on before. Until I get to Liverpool Lime Street, then I've been on that before. But slightly different ways, actually. Think of that. I don't think I've done Liverpool Lime Street with uh, to Manchester Big Lily, so that would be a first. Hello. Yes. So we are now coming into Liverpool Lime Street. It was fun being on this. It's been pretty good. I can actually look at you on the camera. Yeah, it's been really fun. Enjoyed it, but now uh, we just need to find out um, if we've won the first class ticket on SeatFrog with Transpenner and Express to Sheffield. If we have or if we haven't, I'm still gonna grab a bite to eat. But yeah, it's pretty loud down here, but it's really fun to be on. And uh, I won, woohoo! I won, which is great. So I won it for five pounds. So I get, you know, a little bit to eat, cup of tea, some drink. Yeah, love it. Right, so doors opening and then off we go to the main line. We've got a 29 minute wait now. So we'll watch this train leave and then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go to the city, to the main line so stations. But yeah, there's our 508 that's taken us here. loud wasn't it right stand to the right and hold on tight yeah we won it for a fiver that's good now i've got to try and find something to eat need a wee <laughs> as usual uh, i've been drinking tea all day so it's not helping but i'm going to drink more tea on this train home so yeah let's try and find a toilet and then have a look around lime street do i use that as a train spotted video for half an hour or do i just keep it within this video I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get to the top and see what I can see. Depends how I'm feeling. Ticket to ride. Yeah, it's a little weird, look. It's underground. Oysters. Which is weird. Yeah, let's go to the main line. Then we can figure out what to eat. And then uh, wait for our train, which is coming in half an hour. 29, about 27 minutes now. And 
here we are. Nah, but I'll just keep it for you guys. No trade spotting today. Let's have a look at that gorgeous Liverpool Lime Street station roof. I don't know what I fancy to eat. I've got 25 minutes, 20 minutes now, but there's nothing in the station that's catching my, uh, yeah, I'm not fancying anything. It's all cold, there's no hot food. I want something hot. But I can't see anything around here that's like within walking distance, unless I like run down there, but what if I'm late? Well, there is weather spoons, but that doesn't do takeaway. Well, not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back in. It might just have to be a, an upper crust or something. But yeah, look at that. Love it. Oh, look at that. And what's funny is all of this Eurovision stuff, because it's before Eurovision this video recorded, but look at that lovely roof. We're going on a 185, not this one at the front, but the, not this one at the back, but the one that's further forward. That's where we're going. And then we're heading to Sheffield. I got bacon and brie, and I got chocolate eclairs from MS, of course. Plus, I got some extra snacks and food on board as well, hopefully. So, yeah, um, they're just disconnecting the two, hence the doors being locked. Oh, oh no, he's just unlocked his door. But I believe this has just arrived. There we go, they've separated, so yeah, they can now open all the doors. So yeah, let's go to uh, Coach G and uh, sit in our lovely comfy seat. Look at that, it's, it's disconnected now. Coach G. Here we go, into first. Here we go, 10 minutes to go. Where's 13? Ah, oh, so I'll see, but nobody else is in here, so. I am going to sit at the window. Do I sit there? Well, it looks like nobody's on the seat, so I might just sit on one of these. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, there's no cards. There's no reservation. So I'm just going to sit here until somebody says, that's my seat, get out. But I could be on my own. Oh, no, there's somebody coming in now, which is good. Yeah, got my bacon and brie. Got my gorgeous chocolate eclairs. Family know I love them. They are good. It's that or the Waitrose chocolate eclairs. I have a good, I have a soft spot for both. So two little cards, mine 13 and 10 have been selected. All the others are not reserved. So I am staying put. I'm not sitting there. I'm sitting here. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, there's a guy going with that. I think that's probably Avanti. I haven't seen my, uh, my trolley yet. I hope there is one. There's an LNWR, just coming in. I was just uh, pointing my camera the other way for us to leave. I was like, oh, I just caught that. Oh, first class, fancy. start making our own but we already have making our next bit oh hang on why do we stop are we okay thinking about it I've got an anytime return maybe I should have gone via Avanti I don't know that probably would have taken too long and I've got a big day tomorrow so I'm not going to be able to do that not sure what happened there but we are leaving now It's a 
Angelino. Yeah, it's been a bit of a while, a while since I've been to Lime Street, but here we go. so we get to see a little bit more we're going up the hill how do you get on spirit on steam um going up this hill no you can see my hand there let me uh just do it like that it's now really dark oh come on hurry up <laughs> there we go so this is the hill we're not going to be on the uh, Liverpool Lime Street route per se that would, be, that would have been nice but no we are venturing off and going via Manchester but how amazing that I'm on Liverpool Lime Street on Spirit of Steam for this little bit High that is We're so deep in there. But yeah, somebody pulled the emergency uh, button. Hopefully, they got kicked off. how dated the catenary looks those little gantry things that are sticking out they look so flimsy and old compared to like more modern ones but yeah this is amazing we're at the top now so uh, we get to slow down and I don't know if we actually uh, stop at this next stop no That was exciting. Hopefully you enjoyed that. That's why it's taken a little bit longer, this clip, because I want to show you what it looks like nowadays. Oh, there's an EMR 158 XEMT. Yeah, we're not going on that one. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. It's fun for me. Because the last time I went on this, Liverpool Lime Street, I didn't even think about it. Because it didn't exist. But look at it now. There's an over one, 802. eat my food before it goes cold. Sorry, I'm just eating my food, but we've just gone past Mossley Hill, so we're still on it. We're still on the Spit of Steam Brew. Which is 
exciting to know that it goes quite far. We were on it quite a bit before we venture off to uh, Manchester. But we are slowing down to Liverpool Central Parkway. I'm guessing because it's Liverpool Central Parkway, it's Parkway, which means West Allerton, which means that it's a new station. So yeah, apologies there. I should have recorded longer. I'm just thinking about my stomach. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, I've got a big day tomorrow to look forward to. You'll probably have seen the video already. Um, but I've not done it yet, but 43025 transport from Ely to Ruddington. I don't know if I'm getting the whole lot yet because I don't know what the timings are, but we're going to try our best documenting it and hopefully you enjoyed that video a few months ago. No, um, no tea trolley though, <clears throat> no refreshments. Is that going to happen at like Manchester Piccadilly or something? Maybe you don't get anything from Liverpool Lime Street. Maybe he's missed it. They've not mentioned it. They've not announced saying there's no food or drink available on the train. They've not said anything, so maybe it's just standard that it's not in Liverpool. Possibly. Anyway, right. Coming into Liverpool Central Park right now. Oh yeah, that is quite new. That's not going to be in spirit steam, is it? Did I call it Liverpool Central? It's Parkway. Liverpool South Parkway. My fault. But yeah, this is where you go for the uh, John Lennon Airport. Which I've never been to. Ever. So this is where Allerton Junction is. Which is where it splits. So we're probably going to go left towards Manchester, whereas if you carry on that way, you'll get to Crewe, and that's the Spirit of Steam. Our part ended. There it goes. I think this is Allerton Junction then, or Depot, or whatever you want to call it. Got some northern trains in there. And there's the 323, which, funny enough, as of, yeah, Allerton, as of today, on recording, there was the announcement that we're getting the Northern 323 from Manchester Piccadilly to Glossop. So yeah, I'm seeing the trains before it comes out of trains so well. But when you watch this video, it would already have come out probably. But there it is. There's a Northern 323. I think it was a good port. You know, they did the cross city line with West Midlands, so why not do the northern version of it? Yeah, really good dovetail. Hopefully the route's good. I've not been on it yet because, as I said, it's only just been announced. Choo choo, look at that. Get a little punch hole in the shape of a train. The only downside of it is he's punched it through the magnetic strip. We're now coming into Warrington Central. Oh, train lines down there. Interesting. So yeah, we're running about three minutes behind because of that emergency push, but never mind. I've had one of my chocolate eclairs, I can't wait anymore. <laughs> I, just got, I just got a bottle of water from them though. So the uh, trolley guy, trolley person comes on uh, from Manchester. So I've got a bottle of water uh, for the time being. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some wine this time because uh, it's gone the time and hopefully they're going to have it in the trolley because the last time as you know so on that Nova Warrington, they didn't have it the train here in do take a look around just to ensure you have all your personal luggage with you do mind the gap between the train and the platform edge please judge it for a short walk over to Warrington Bank and Key for services down to London Euston Birmingham New Street services to Glasgow Central as well as services to North Wales why did I stop recording <laughs> we haven't even stopped yet I wanted to see what Warrington Central looked like 
Ooh. So I was thinking, <clears throat> what I'll probably do is I'll probably document up to Manchester Piccadilly, and then unless I get some decent stuff from the trolley, that'll probably be it. Just bits of bobs here, there, and everywhere. Um, got a bit of work to do, um, some spreadsheet stuff to do, so I can't really. Uh, do filming and that at the same time because I need to concentrate on that ready for some last minute changes for tomorrow morning so I need to make sure that's done but yeah if we get anything on the trolley I will certainly definitely let you know and if I don't I really will let you know <laughs> so here we are into Manchester sorry I wanted to start getting that work done so yeah, Manchester Oxford Road coming up and then Piccadilly and then uh, yeah, onwards to Stockport and Sheffield. There's the Manchester trams. So Manchester Oxford Road, bye bye. Piccadilly next. Only a little uh, short hop to Piccadilly. Uh, but this is kind of where if you go to Piccadilly and you look on the screen you'll see Oxford Road and yeah it's really fun to see the trains going through like on the computer screen um, at different points and also if there's a backlog you kind of get stuck on this bridge for ages and you kind of like make your way slowly through there yes we know anyway Piccadilly next so here we go coming into Piccadilly now so we get to see the bit of Piccadilly Manchester Piccadilly. Yes, he's talking about tickets. If it's got EMR or not, get off the train. Yes, we know. Oh, it's empty. Look. There's nothing in. Nobody's here. It's empty. Interesting. Oh, no. Here's some people. Uh, it's going to be busy. Oh, well. It's fine because we're in first class and we're in a non-reserved seat. The only downside is I can't see a trolley. There are no trolleys. I don't think we've had a uh, trolley service enter this uh, train. We're leaving at the same time as the Pendolino, but people have got on board, so I can't show you the Pendolino leaving. But we're having a race. But yeah, there was no trolley. I can't hear anything. Oh. oh, it just makes it better and better, doesn't it? There's that uh, Pendolino. Oh, he's already going because he got ahead of us. Yeah, Stockport, next stop, Sheffield after this. Oh, stop. Stockport, AK what a stockport! Yes! At least I get some chance of getting a drink or three before we get to Sheffield. <laughs> There's the main line, West Coast main line going down and we're going off. Going through the Peak District. Oh yeah. So I've got a cup of tea um, that's brewing at the moment, so that's nice. And this is what I wanted last time, and I've got it this time. Malbec in a can. So I'm going to take this home, I'm going to enjoy that at home because I want the cup of tea now. But yeah, Malbec, nice, eh? <laughs> and a nice cup. There we go. <sighs> nice views of the Peak District. That's what I like to see. Last week I was going through these hills on the train, going, oh, I wish I was on here going past all the uh, Peak Forest stations going, I want to stop, just have a look, but no, couldn't, had work on and was busy with that. But what I'm going to say is we're coming up to Chinley, which is one of the stations for Peak Forest. So yeah, we are coming up to that station now, which is one of the uh, terminus stations. Uh, so it goes from Amagate to Buxton. Buxton? Doesn't sound right. It is right. Buxton and Chinley. So yeah, we're just coming up to it. We are running four minutes behind schedule. But I just wanted to uh, film this bit going through Chinley Station just so you can see what it looks like. 
modern day compared to the Spirit of Steam Peak Forest Rail era. 1963, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, 63, I think. So, three, uh, 185. Said we were going past at 41, but it's now 42 and we still haven't gone past it. Ba -ba -ba. This clip is longer than it should be. Do, 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 do. Here it is. Here's Chinley. Wow, that was it. So we got our cup of tea that's nicely brewed and we've got a little box. So what have we got in this box? Let's have a look. So we have some chili and lemon hummus chips. We've got some salted peanuts, we've got chocolate cookies, oh okay, chocolate cookies and we've got a, a vegan flapjack, so that'd be nice to uh, have a little munch on later, but we still do have our other chocolate eclair which will go really nice with that cup of tea. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? like the closest I'm going to get to mountains. Can you see the moon as well? There's the moon up there. Ooh, we get some tankers, cement. Hope construction materials, so I'm guessing because it's Hope Valley. Oh, we got a rusty shed there, a 66. Oh, we missed the front of that one. <laughs> Probably off, uh, what, is, it, is it blurry? I feel like it is. Anyway. More lovely hills. Oh, sheepies. Bad. And there's hope. Hope. What are they for? They're like black signs for now. It's like, welcome to Sheffield. And there's, um, it's down there as well. What is going on? This is Doran Totley. But there's a lot of work going on here. What is it? Extra track, a new platform, HS2. I don't know what it is. Come on, let me know in the comments down below. What is this? What's going on? So here we are. We are arriving at Sheffield. So now we have to get off and wait for our Voyager, our smelly Voyager, cross country, back to Derby. But if all goes well, we're on platform six, but something's coming into platform one. So I really hope we get a good look at that when that comes in. So we are here at Sheffield. Uh, we've just arrived and uh, what's really funny, well, I say funny, I've just spoken to uh, the guy with the uh, trolley. He's 11 hours, 45 minutes into his shift. Um, he spends all day like waiting around and things. He got on at Stockport because he had six minutes at Piccadilly and his original train was going into the center of Manchester Piccadilly and it wouldn't have, wouldn't have had enough time to have then got over to platform 14 to then come back or 13 to come back so that's why he did that um, and that's why he was on at Stockport but he's now finished his shift well he's got to pack it all away and stuff like that anyway look the first class seats are still here at Sheffield they've been removed from Nottingham I believe and definitely Starby as well but they are still here at Sheffield let's have a test before going to platform 6 these are the first class ones and they are uncomfortable. I, I, I'm going to admit, they're not comfy. They are not meridians. The meridians are nice. And, look, I'm, I'm hitting my head on the back and it's hurt. Well, it's hurt because I'm hitting my head. But there's just no, there's no cushion to it. After like an hour, you'll be, your bum's sore and numb. Anyway, right, let's go to <laughs> platform six. Enough ranting, platform six. But before we do, what's happened to Burger King? Burger King's gone. Closed for refurbishment. 
Good job I didn't wait to come here because I wanted something to eat that was hot and I was like, I could go to Burger King at Sheffield. Nope, because that wouldn't have happened. Anyway, let's go to platform six. Let's go. Are you ready for it? It is coming. Let's watch it come into platform one. Bravo. Wasn't that amazing? HST Cross Country going to Leeds. It came from Edinburgh to this morning. I actually saw the Leeds to Plymouth this morning, but I was in the car park when it left, so I wasn't able to shoot it, to film it. But here's our Voyager coming in. We're in Coach C. So let's climb aboard this uh, smelly Voyager. Unfortunately, if only it was the other way round and we had a HST taking us back home. But you can't have it all, can you? You can see them, but you can't go on them. They're always in the opposite direction to what you want to go on. Anyway, let's climb aboard. What is it? Is it a 221 or a 220? Well, it's a four car, which means that it's a 220. 015. Let's get a coach seat. So we are now on the final train heading to Derby, and that shaking is really annoying. Oh, here we go. Stop now. Yeah, that was nice seeing the HST leave. Uh, leave? Get here. That was good. It's always good to see a HST. I've seen two HSTs today one on the way to work and one on the way home. So I'm happy. Ooh, a bit close. So yeah, it's gonna get dark in about 10 minutes. So whilst we've got a bit of light, let's uh, exit Sheffield. Next stop. empty 14 or oh, 66 so we gotta go the other end that's not a great sound is it what was i again 13 we'll find it well that was annoying and i was like what was that southern 170 went past doing the norwich to manchester piccadilly oh if only the email service oh that would have been nice to have been on and here is Ambergate. That's where the track used to go, in the triangle shape. Um, when it was bigger, of course, Ambergate. Now it's just that one single line which we're going to meet up with in a sec. There it is. So yeah, that's what it used to be. It used to be major, as you know, from uh, Peak Forest Rail. But that's all we've got now. There we have it. We are back at Derby. Let's uh, go to the front of the train, watch it leave, and then that will be the end of that chapter. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Literally a mammoth, uh, mammoth journey, leaving Ellesmere Port at 10 past five, or 12 minutes past five. So I got there from five o'clock. Getting back to Derby at nine minutes to nine, 
if I went the Chester way, I would have got here half an hour earlier, but why do you want to do the easy route when I did that this morning? So that's why we went for this route. We went via Liverpool Lime Street, and that was exciting, that was fun. And now with the double yellow aspect, that train is shortly about to leave to head to Birmingham New Street. So what we're gonna do, oh look, there's the, uh, the old Virgin badge. I'm going to switch my camera over because I want it to point the other way so it looks better. As in, turn my camera around because it's this side and I want it to be the other side. And then we'll, uh, we'll watch it leave. But I uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video. This is Mega Sim. And don't forget, I have got this video, you know, the next clip of this leaving. But this is Mega Sim. Out of here. See you soon, guys. Bye.